Hey, how's it going? It's Sally Eslin here from Self Empowered Lifestyles. So I've been having a busy day because I'm recording this at the end of the day, but I have been doing, you know, um, I do conversations as one of my four C's. So I have four pillars under Self Empowered Lifestyles. I've got the clothing, Empowered Clothing that you can see behind me, which is all sustainable and ethically manufactured. And it's very conscious about looking in the poster, looking good, feeling good, and also doing good for the planet. I also have a community with Ali um, Allison Williams, which is Empowers in Community. Very cool weekly classes where we just have accountability. We we uh, you know we share our wins for the week. We set goals. We have growth section, practical section, empowered strategies. We have visualizations, meditations. It's very cool and card readings. Then I also have well, uh, what did I say? Uh, clearings, which I do with my uh, Brew for Energy stuff, which is Activator Healer Coach work. Very very powerful as well. And then finally, it's conversations. And my conversations are doing these angel card readings, but also my podcast, uh, Magic Mike Moments, which is talking to ma- amazing people about their journeys, about their super superpowers, about tips that they can share to help people who are stuck. And then finally, there's the other podcast, Finding Your Way, which is really cool and amazing. And once again, it's talking with people about genuine and authentic real issues, particularly for people over 50. So today I did a couple of interviews and I tell you what, it's just... I can feel the weight is lifted. I can feel that people are really starting to wake up and are are wanting to hear, you know, hear more, like are resonating with more stuff because in this new way you can't sell to people or you can't talk, tell people stuff. People need to sit back and listen and learn, let it sink and see if it, it resonates with them or not. And just my conversations today was so empowering with these people because it's, it's stuff that we're ready to hear and learn and it's not woo-woo anymore. It's about bridging that gap between practical tools or things that we can do to actually align ourselves in a happier, healthier and wealthier way, which is what we're all about at the end of the day. It's about being happy and healthy and having abundance on all levels, you know, call it wealthy on on all levels, right? It's just because as I keep saying, we're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. So it's time to step up. But just having these conversations, I really feel are really relevant to people these days. Like this morning was um, talking to New Soul Rising chick, Jamie Maddox, and, you know, daily healthy habits that you can do to really align your soul on its true purpose. And it's not woo-woo-y. And then I was just chatting to an international profiler who, um, you know, can help people through recognising through their twitches, their mannerisms, as well as their facial features and uh, face reading and and just, you know, helping people just have a better life where they're not being labelled, they're not being judged, they just feel more comfortable in them because they understand their strengths better and working with that. So, yeah, interesting conversations, but, you know, these things need to be heard. So um, tune into my YouTube channel called Finding Your Way with Sally and, uh, yeah, just just like, I don't know, it just makes my soul sing because I'm discussing issues that, you know, 10 years ago we probably didn't speak about or thought, oh, that's a bit too out there, but now it's not. <laughs> it's Now it's really relevant because I tell you, after my experience of Mind, Body, Spirit um, Festival, people are really feeling stuck. They're looking for some changes. They're looking for some answers. They're looking for guidance. They're a bit stuck. They're stressed. They're overwhelmed, but they're just really wanting some more certainty in the sense that, you know, try this because I think this might help you or, you know, they need some guidance. They're not quite ready to do it themselves like do that inside work, but just start to go along that journey. So just listening to empowering conversations is a good start. So with that out of the way, well, no, not out of the way. That was very important to discuss that. So what are you doing? I've just had a long day. Uh, I thought we'd start with Diamonds Within Deck. What do I need to know today? Please show me the way. Just gaining some clarity, insight and direction about where we're going. And see, this is just a very good first start to help sort of if the juice is flowing in your head going, mm, that resonates. Well, yeah, I think I should be doing that, you know, just being nicer to myself in my head. I was talking about that in one of my podcasts today. I've spent over three hours on podcast. Woo, that's a lot of chat chats. Alrighty, what are we doing? We're doing Diamonds Within. And just shuffling away. Yeah, so Alan Stevens was a dude I was interviewing just before, and he's a really interesting dude. He's worked with the federal police worked with all these amazing organisations and now he's working with schools to help, uh, you know, kids to recognise their strengths more rather than just focus on the things that they're not good at but focus on the things that they are really good at. So the first card that it's come up is 
I am feeling so good about money and it's astonishing how much is flowing easily to me. Now, this card came up recently and it's all about just our relationship with money, right? It's just like when you're feeling good about it, that it's not a bad, evil, negative thing. It's just not. It's just a thing. Money is just a thing. And my girlfriend, Nick, always says when we're walking along the beach, see all that water out there just imagine that's oceans of money and it's like yeah I love to swim in that sort of stuff and I love to walk by it I find it very cathartic I find it very uplifting so you're feeling so good about money and it's astonishing how much is flowing easily to me when you get over your limiting beliefs or you know obstacles around the concept of money and just a, what it can allow into your life I always like to equate it to well what sort of lifestyle it can bring me you know one that I'm really happy and healthy and wealthy but just doing things like travel that I love to do and I'm heading off in two more sleeps can't believe it two more sleeps and I'm out there I'm actually going to be in Kakadu out back with the, the twins and another friend of theirs and wow there's no reception <laughs> man they're gonna go into meltdown <laughs> can you imagine having no reception no laptop no no access to social media no e emails nothing for like over a week that's gonna be exciting so I won't be doing readings for a few days but that's okay that's just it is what it is but, you know, maybe I can do some from Darwin before we head off. That would be amazing. Now, the next deck I've chosen from is the Inspiration deck, which is the Inspiration deck. This is the card that's come out in my hand here as I was shuffling it. Actually, hang on. I'm going to have to reshuffle because two cards are screaming at me. Let's see what they're going to come out. It's so funny because I do my own card readings, um, personal ones, and I've had the same card three days in a row. If that is not a message to me, like, what are the chances? Three days in a row. So in the end, two cards have come out. Oh, no, it is only one. And it says, the comeback is always stronger than the setback. Woohoo, comeback trail. Um, uh, uh, what's her name? Kelly Clarkson's most famous song that uh, was my anthem for many years. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. The comeback is always stronger than the setback. Absolutely. Obstacles there are, are to help us grow and to learn. So everything, as challenging as it may seem, there is a silver lining. And, you know, we learn and grow from everything that comes at us, right? Woo, 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 yes. So the comeback is always stronger than the setback. No matter what perceived negative is happening or, or challenge, you know, we can empower and rise above it. Absolutely. Strengthen ourselves, step into our solar plexus energy, find that courage and strength within because all the answers lie within us and our strength and courage comes from within us and then just fire up that that passion in your belly and just go for it so the next deck i'm um uh, shuffling at the moment and picking a card from is from the believe deck so this card is now coming out and that says am i taking my frustrations out on myself stop beating yourself up are you beating yourself up this is a question are you taking out your frustrations out on yourself like, you know, are you doing unhealthy things? Are you having bad thoughts or putting yourself down? Are you taking out your frustrations out in food, for example, or just sitting there like a couch potato because you can't be bothered getting off the couch and going for a walk or, you know, just mm, beating yourself up because you didn't say something to someone, you didn't speak your truth. What is it? Are you just check in with yourself? Are you taking frustrations out on yourself? Because I know I do that all the time and it's just like I have to catch myself when the this is going eh, 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 which happens a lot but you know I put all my tools and techniques in place and one of the greatest things you can do is catch yourself and have that recognition that you are starting to spiral back into those old habits and then stop pause breathe and then choose to respond in a in an informed way as opposed to quickly reacting and going into those old habits Alrighty, let's finish off with a bling boost. Ooh, there's some uh, strong strength stuff coming through in here. I can see it. So let's see what we can be doing. Oh, this is the card that's come out. Oops, nearly ripped the whole up. Bling boost. <laughs> this is you can be the queen or king of your own destiny. You absolutely can. You have the strength. You have the courage. You have the confidence. It's all there. It's all lying inside of you. You need to ignite that passion within you, ignite that wisdom within you, ignite that um, courage, confidence, and empower yourself to step up and be seen because you are the driver of your own life and you can be the king or queen of your own destiny because you are the master creator. It's all up to you. You're in the driver's seat and it's just a choice. Everything is choice, which is one of the podcasts I was talking about today. So check it all out on Finding Your Way with Sally. 
So if as a recap from the Diamonds Within, you're feeling so good about money and it's astonishing how much is flowing easily to me. So any limiting beliefs or any hang-ups you have with, with money, piss that off. Absolutely, it's time for change. You know, make that choice that, yep, I'm not playing that old game anymore. I'm ready to move forward. Because remember, the comeback is always stronger than the setback. So, you know, just what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Just get out there, rise above it. Because remember, we're riding the waves of life and that's just how it, the ebbs and flows and the highs and the lows, but stick to the light and you'll be right. So, you know, it's just, yeah, get over, dust yourself off, um, jump up, dust yourself off, get back on the horse because it's just, you, you're you going to have grown from that experience. And remember, you know, just think about, are you taking your frustrations out on yourself? Are you beating yourself up? You know, just channel that energy into good, you know, channel it into to action steps, into doing things differently, in, into your creativity, you know, really tapping into that state. Because at the end of the day, you're in the driver's seat and you can be the king or queen of your own destiny because you are the master creator. Ta-da! You are, you are, you are. These are really good, strong reminder cards that don't, don't think just because of one setback or one sort of perceived negative experience or challenge that you, you know you're beaten because you're not it's just something to learn from there's a silver lining there get back up on the horse you're going to come back stronger than ever just empower yourself go within and find that strength and courage and encouragement and remember don't beat yourself up just be nice about it and if you're looking for abundance just feel really good about it just picture and visualize it and it's going to materialize the more you step into that is that the signal that you're clearly sending out to the universe and the universe says clearly you've got a great relationship with money you're ready for some more because it's going to provide this extra greatness into your life and your lifestyle and so i hope that was helpful and with that i'm all complete and i'll catch you again tomorrow bye